Hello guys, in this video we will talk about the issue I was facing about the Power BI data, data set refresh and uh, you, you'll find here there's a lot of refresh failed and uh, it was scheduled and now I want this thing something on demand so in general what you will go do is like you can see here this is a successful on demand just before this started and uh, you can see it is completed successfully and uh, if we refresh this page it should go now and there's only one data set here and uh, this is a gateway connection and uh, in history you'll find it is completed let's refresh this page and then we will jump into the actually uh, actual content of this whole video so now you will see this is succeeded so this task is something i need to go and uh, log into the Power BI cloud service and do it manually here. Now there is a lot of uh, uh, difficulties and challenges uh, when you want to automate this process. So for the solution of this, uh, this is something you need to do some on-demand thing and this uh, involve the manual effort to make this whole process automated. Power BI has come up with this uh, Power BI rest apis so here is the document link and uh, we will go through the data set first and we'll see how these apis are working and uh, i've shown you here this uh, data set available here and this is a report and uh, this data set is having uh, this id so data sets and this is the id of this data set Let's copy this one uh, for our next step. Now, uh, what this API do actually? So this API do give you the freedom to modify your code, embed your actions using these REST APIs and handle your reports and data sets and your workspace environment. So this is something a uh, very programmatical approach to your Power BI reports in uh, in short uh, so let's jump into this one and I have this list of uh, data set APIs and I have selected get data sets so you will find there is and there, there are a lot of difference are there so let's just focus on this one for now so it will uh, return the list of data sets you have available in your workspace so right now I have only one so we'll see how we can get this one so this is a guest uh, get method is there and uh, we need to have this response should be 200 okay and this is the example okay and this is the output of your api call and some uh, detail uh, about uh, your data set and other some information is there let's focus on the, how we can call this one so there is a try it button is there so you can go and try this one for that you need some login here so it will use the current login i have and it will log in there okay so now i have uh, uh, we will go through this document first what they have mentioned here so here is the token generated so it's a very important part that we need a token here and then you'll find here uh, it's simple uh, call there is no parameter we are passing here okay so just simply we will run this one and see what will be the outcome and this is my output here in the body JSON and it's showing me this is the one data set called Corona COVID-19 so this is what it is showing right now I hope you guys understand this one what's going on here okay so there is no parameter passing you don't need any parameter header anything simple this call this will give you the list of all data sets available okay now the important thing is authorization and that is something uh, there is a detailed document is provided here because it you know a lot of things licensing pro license uh, capacity premium all things are involved 
in this video we are not going to talk about that uh, this is just a practice uh, uh, once you have that uh, pro license or your admin or your ad, uh, you talk with your team and you get all these required things you can go and generate the authorizing we'll talk that uh, in later video as well i am planning on that also but uh, just uh, start with some very very uh, you know uh, abstract level here we will talk about this api so how you can test this api for now so this way uh, you will see the api how this api is working and now uh, let's try to check this api into postman so postman i have another video on postman tool that you can check and you can configure your postman so it is started so this one is started okay so here let's have a first request instead of this one i'll add my request here and now you will see the authorization here and we need a barrier token so copy the barrier token from here just remember this will expire in some time so you need to regenerate at the time okay so put the token here and get method your link is there and your token is there send okay cool so we have this corona covid 19 data set so and this is other details it's showing here and the link i guess so this is how you can check your apis using post and validate now next uh, i think till here everything is fine so far we are able to show you that uh, how you can check with your data set and if this is success once you have this success then i guess most of this abi uh, is will be uh, this will be very straightforward and uh, you can go and use it in your code and there are sample codes also available that you can use it uh, i will show you in the upcoming videos about uh, how you can uh, embed your power bi uh, reports into your application and uh, uh, critical one is like how to generate the token so on that i am planning to create some videos uh, and for now this is the one and uh, let's see what other apis are available so let's see the get refresh or like uh, let's see update data source is there hmm. update data source or refresh data set okay so this is something important and this is having a post call and it will require the rest id as a parameter so there are gate and post and different kind of calls are there so let's try this one so we already have copied our data set id the paste your data set id here oh it is not that let's copy it again and uh, go to okay so this is what we have pasted and you can see the request body we don't need anything here and we have this spare token concatenation okay so this will do a refresh on my power bi data set here so let's check what was the last refresh it is a uh, 5 uh, 559 am est yeah okay so and this is a end 
uh, 5.13. So anything after this, like it may be right now it is 5.10 a.m. something, so it should be there. So let's go to the API. Here, once you enter the parameter, you will uh, you will see this. It's, it's reflecting in between these two things, and uh, this is true. Let's write down here true, and uh, just run it. Four zero zero. Okay, let's see this. We need to understand. Okay, so notification, what is notification? So you will find the definition about the notification and what should be the value there. So notification, uh, notify options are there. So no notification. I don't want any notification because we will check it uh, manually. So this was the problem here and that's why the response code is 400. Let's check it again. Now it is 202, so response is uh, correct. And this is the output here. And uh, it's showing uh, request ID and other details. And now we will check with uh, on demand here. Is there any refresh going on? So you can see there is a refresh is going on. In progress, it's showing this is how you can refresh on demand programmatically using Power BI REST APIs. I hope uh, guys you like this uh, uh, tutorial and uh, uh, it will help you to uh, understand and, and to step into the Power BI APIs slowly. And uh, uh, we are planning to make uh, more videos on this one slowly and we'll try to go through very critical APIs that is required like this one to refresh the data set. So similar way we will try to put more videos on this with some programming aspects and uh, as I said earlier about the token generation and some critical aspects and we'll try to cover some scenarios. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.